Are you looking for cloud storage solutions? Well, you might just be in the right place. There are so many options. How do you know which one to actually go with? Today, we're going to have a look at own cloud. We're going to have a look at next cloud. We're going to have a look at C file and we're going to have a look at sync thing. We want to know which cloud solution is the right one for you. So without further ado, let's climb in. Let's jump into own cloud. So own cloud shares files securely with granular permissions. Control your access with password protection and also expiration dates. You can extend functionality through apps as well as with plugins, and you can tailor the platform to your specific business needs. You can also track changes and restore previous versions, which prevents data loss with a more comprehensive history. OwnCloud also serves end-to-end -end encryption, so it protects sensitive data with robust encryption. It meets uh, strict enterprise regulatory standards and you can track all file access as well as modifications it also has that two-factor as well as sso integration support the next thing we're having a look at is deployment and integration so you can install on premises or in your private cloud infrastructure it connects with active directory ldap s3 storage and a bunch more you can apply your organization's look and feel with the UI theming feature, which is great if you are into custom branding and you can sync across your desktop, mobile device and anything else seamlessly. The next thing over here is their collaboration and user experience. So it does offer real time editing on this case, you can actually work simultaneously on documents with um, Collabora or only Office integrations. You can chat, make video calls and share workspaces directly within the platform. And you can see who's online and track team activities at a glance. Having a look at Nextcloud now, they have a bunch of advanced features. So you can actually file any file content instantly with Apache or even Elasticsearch integrations. You can create rules for file handling and access controlled based um, on your triggers. And then also you can track server health, uh, user activity and system resources through a dashboard. You can apply your brand colors as well uh, with your logo, with simple theming control. So it's really easy to use. It offers flexible deployment. Having a look at their installation in ecosystems, you can choose Docker, VM images, or even cloud marketplace options for a quick setup. It benefits from 100% open source code with extensive community support, and you stay protected with frequent security patches and feature additions. It connects directly with Azure as well as AWS, which is uh, fantastic, and other cloud environments. Let's have a look at C file now. So C file is a high performance sync and storage system. It's 60% faster in its sync. Um, it's got more than two terabytes of um, file storage libraries. And it supports all major desktop and mobile platforms and file versioning with snapshot restore capabilities offers you more than 30 versions. Let's have a look at the collaboration tools as well as their user management. So you can create shared libraries from team access. Um, you can also control permissions at folder level. You can edit documents together with your team members in real time and you can track changes with version history. You can also set storage quotas for users, monitor activity through your admin dashboard and there are a whole bunch more features. The last thing over here is their security and extensibility. It allows you to create encrypted libraries for your most sensitive documents. It has a client-side encryption which ensures privacy 
It connects with your existing infrastructure seamlessly. It authenticates users through your directory service. And you can build custom solutions with the RESTful API. You can automate workflows with this and extend the functionality all in all. Let's have a look at Sync Thing. So SyncThing is a peer-to-peer -peer synchronization platform. Um, it enables direct device-to-device -device file synchronization without any central server. It connects with Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and BSD devices in a secure mesh network. You can see also you have complete data ownership. So all of your files stay on your device. There's no cloud storage or even third party servers that are required. All communication between devices is secure with a TLS encryption. Your data never ever travels unprotected. Your data is also never exposed to anybody else. Only devices that you authorize can access your files. The entire code base is actually open source and audible. So there are no hidden backdoors or secret data collection. Let's have a look at some of their key advantages and recap. You can see over here, it's lightweight with minimal CPU and memory use. It's optimized for both powerful desktops and resource constrained devices. It has selective synchronization. So you can actually choose exactly which folders to share with specific devices. It maintains different sharing relationships with each connected peer, which is a great way to manage your synchronization. It has a built-in file versioning, which protects against accidental changes. You can restore previous versions with customizable retention policies, and automatically you can repair and synchronize after any network disruption. So there's no manual intervention required when connections actually drop. So there we go, with so many options available, it's often difficult to make a decision and um, stick to the decision. My advice always is to try all of your options, even if it is for a short amount of time, just to see what actually works for you with a more hands-on approach and then make a decision thereafter. Just remember that we're all individuals and we all have individual needs. If this was really helpful, drop us a like and we'll see you next time.